Now, the left side of the helicopter integrated into blackout piece has a button that when I press it, shoots a red light. Uh, so I just put that in there. The other one is just real accurate to what it should be. A little gun thing that comes out of his chest. It's actual. Uh, it's actually that projectile that comes out of that transforming Star Wars vehicle. This one, the uh, Commander Cody thing. This is the one I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, and voila, the shoulder missile carrier things are on. All right, looks like we've got a pretty good blackout so far. So far, we've used about three sticks of epoxy, but we still have two on reserve. So what's missing? <laughs> I've added some pieces to the back of his back to make him look more helicopter-like and movie accurate. I try not to pay too much attention to the transformation as much as the action figure himself. But here it is, here are his transformations. I just made this vehicle form up, the TX Mantis Walker, with opening cockpit stand. And then of course there's his well-known transformation. And here we have Blackout. One little touch, with a small tweak in the arm, this arm may now hold a weapon. So now, Blackout now has his little secondary chainsaw blade thing. And in the other hand, a cannon. Indeed it is Iron Man Mark II's cannon. But, by molding the shape of the two things that latch on to his arm into the epoxy into Blackout's arm, this weapon will now fit on his arm. Cool, right? And, of course, if you've noticed, the handmade and engraved Decepticon symbol. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Of course, when including the time constraint. So he's got his gimmicks, has his transformations, and pretty much looks like Blackout. There's only one thing missing. The paint job. Now, this is the appropriate color for blackout. And the epoxy are shades different. So, in the past, I've experimented with numerous paints and discovered that all of them chipped way too easily. So I found the one paint that wouldn't that would be that wouldn't chip and wouldn't wear off and wouldn't feel soft and best of all wouldn't cover up the details of the toy is spray paint. But as we both know, spray paint is very hard to use since it's hard to control. But I've come up with a certain method of covering up all the parts that I don't want painted. But that's not the method we're going to be using today. Since the shade of this color, this blue-gray as we call it, is not a very popular color in spray paint. So how do we solve our dilemma? We have to mix of course, it is a popular misconception that spray paint does not mix. A misconception that we're going to prove wrong right now. Now, these will be the shades of spray paint we will be mixing. Gray and orbital blue. And of course, the main color, black. But before we start any of that, we want to color any colors that we, won't, that we don't want spray sprayed over, such as so. All covered in the sticky cellophane wrapping we like to call tape. Now all the parts we want unchanged are covered, let's start mixing paint. Now never let this stuff get on your eyes, do not breathe it in, always wear covering, do not let this stuff touch your skin. Okay, warning delivered, please read the bottle before using, follow directions carefully. Thank you all. Alright, we're going to start by mixing these two to get that bluish gray shade. Gloves on. So let's mix some paints. This is how it's done. First, you want to take a little bit of the gray and spray a small pool of it as so. Excellent. Now we want to take our blue Spray another small pool of that. As so. Good 
Now, so we're going to mix these two together. You can see they're mixing a little bit. We might need a little more gray. I think I just had it right there. You see, we have the perfect color, that gray, that bluish gray. Good. Now let's mix it in, put it on the toy, and then see what happens. And after 25 minutes of toil, we now have our finished result. Let's take the wrappings off. And here is our finished product. Blackout Mark II. Three and a half sticks of epoxy. Nightwatch Optimus Prime. Gyro Blade. And Voyager Blackout and leader brawl of course a long projectile that can come from either the commanded co uh, the commander cody star wars transforming vehicle or star screams one of star screams bullet things a la laser thing in gold paint gold blue gray and black paint and some quick and clever crafting gave us this eight pound monster of destruction what can he do Welcome to the club, Blackout. And that concludes this review, or, well, this statement. Concludes this film. If you want to make one of your own, that's great. This is the Metavirite signing out.